Hey guys, welcome back to Tubes Time. You are watching our daily vlog series called The Daily Grind, and this is episode number 34. And today we're going to be watching Asher all day long because mama's going shopping all day long. So stick around and I'll show you what I have planned to get a little bit of work done, but also keep him entertained at the same time. But before we get too much further into our day, let's go milk a cow. Feels super nice outside this morning, 59 degrees. It's supposed to be a high of 80 today, so that should be nice weather for hanging out outside with the little man. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> you were some kind of pretty. You got some pretty eyes, Maple. Oh, stop it. Crazy eyes sometimes, but beautiful nonetheless. Hey. Ooh. See Maple? Oh, what a beautiful cow. See? Isn't that cool? Hmm, she smells good too. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Did you get you a snack this morning? Yeah, a little bit. Big yeah. Missy Piggy ate most of it though. That that pig. She she ain't no cow. She a she a pig. She a glut. Good girl. Man, that pig. Speaking of beautiful, look at this backdrop this morning. God is beautiful. A round of applause for Autumn. She killed it this morning. Woo! Yeah, you go, girl. Almost two and a quarter gallons. Dead gum, girl. Yeah, that's a lot of milk. God is so beautiful. Look at that. If that reminds me of one thing to pray for, it's to never get bored and never get old with all of the beautiful creation that God has given to us to enjoy every single day. Even the one that is right here on my property. I never want to get bored with that. It's so beautiful. I think all that has to happen though for you to not get bored with that is you get raised in Louisiana. <laughs> you want to be never bored with mountains? Get raised in a place where the tallest mountain in the state is the Mississippi River Bridge. <laughs> so mama's actually going to be here a little longer than I thought this morning. So we're going to take advantage of that. Take some tools outside to that trash trailer and go ahead and box that thing in like I was talking about to try to keep some critters out. Let's head on out there and do it. You kind of get the idea. I'm mounting boards. I'm going to mount them all the way around to keep critters out. Just wanted to 
show one thing with this board here. This one, I'm not actually going to mount it to the trailer because this gate drops down. I basically fasten it together, push it up against the back of the gate, and it's just going to sit in there while the other three sides are going to be fastened. I'm about to work on the left and right side now. Well, this is it. My ugly trash trailer made even uglier. <laughs> What'd you think, Asher? Asher, you like the big box? What you got there? Hey, you want to go into the trash trailer? Okay. See, this is how the critters are going to get in there now. Look. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no, there's a critter in there, Mama. Oh, my goodness, it's a raccoon. Oh, we got to get him. Get Azure. Ah! <laughs> Look at that critter. <laughs> That's a cute critter. Daddy said you're the critter. Are you a critter? The what? The okay, you want to get down? <laughs> Say bye, Mama. Have fun. Love you. <laughs> bye. Where'd Mommy go? To a toy. She went to the store to get to get you some toys. Toy in a book. Toys and a book. Wow, he's got high expectations, Mama. Asher and I are gonna take a trip to the store, and when we get back, we're gonna have a little fun. Say bye, Mama. Have fun. Love you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> That's an expensive truck right there. Look at the cars on that thing. Can't tell exactly what they are because they're all covered in some type of wrap. Looks like a Ferrari body. Whole truckload of them. Oh my god. Just put little man down for his nap. Gotta hop on the mower and get some grass mowed for this wedding on Saturday. And on Sunday, we actually have two weddings this weekend. Where's my son? I think he's in there. He is. Hello. How was your nap? Was it good? You still sleeping? <laughs> you like them? Yeah. Eating some peanut M and M's. Was that the snack we got you when we were at Walmart earlier? Mm. Mm -hmm. They cook. Yeah, they are good. All right, got the tractor fueled up and greased up. Let's go get some rocks.
got a few more. You gonna test them out? Let's make sure they're not too shaky. Nope. Yep, these are balanced good. How about this one? Oh yeah, all four. Is this one balanced good? No. Nope, it's not. We better, we better shim it, huh? Get off of that one. Let daddy shim it. All right, I'm gonna get you to help me. We're gonna slide this rock underneath the big rock. Daddy? On three. One, two, two three. Slide it under. Oh. All right, we shimmed it up. How's it feel? Does it rock anymore? Oh. Nope. That's solid. You gonna jump? Yep. All right. Jump onto the ground on three. One, two, three. Now jump. Go, go. Woo! Good job. Daddy's turn. One, two. <laughs> You're doing good. You're counting high. <laughs> Still got a little ways to go, but we made some progress. Not too many more if Asher would just let me go down there and get rocks. But we keep having to take play breaks. Good job. All right, you ready for daddy to jump? Oh, look at you go. Be careful. There you go. Good job. Be safe. Nice and easy. Good job, baby. That one's kind of far. You want some help uh -huh. to jump to that one? Uh -huh. All right, you ready? One, two, three, jump. Oh, good job. Now don't walk on those. Those are too small. You don't want to walk on those. Yeah, you can walk on those. It is pretty tricky, isn't it? It's hard to down. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to dig. We're going to dig? Okay. Trevor. Where's Asher's tractor? Right here. Oh, you better put it in the dirt and help me. I got a big scoop. Oh, yeah, you got a real big scoop. I got one big Beep, beep, beep. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
<laughs> yeah. It's plastic. That is plastic. Is yours a plastic? Yeah, mine's plastic too. Cheap junk, huh? This is dirt. It sure is. Beep, beep, beep. And another one. All right, dude, what do you say we go start that grill up and start our steaks? Play for a minute. Let's bring these tractors over by the grill and we can cook our steaks. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Good job. Stick it in there like this. All right. Just gonna put a few more in there. What you see us loading up here um, is a mixture of pine, oak, some molding, <laughs> whatever scrap wood I have. Being I'm a woodworker, I keep all the small scraps, or at least a good bit of them, in this bucket here. And that is what we use to start our fires. Try not to waste much of anything so the old coals that were all burned up in the pit, the big chunks I put right back into this fire starting cylinder and all the rest of the charcoal goes into a small bucket that I add water to and then I just dump on our garden. Yes, we use lighter fluid. I don't really care because by the time all of these coals go on the pit, every bit of this lighter fluid is burned off. And it saves a ton of time. Can I do it without it? Yes, of course I can. Do I taste lighter fluid on my food? No, of course I don't. Why is that? Because none of the lighter fluid ever touches my pit. It's all burned off in this cylinder while being exposed to open air. Getting pretty close to being ready. We'll be throwing our steaks on the grill shortly. And I was actually, because me and Asher were hanging out today, gonna get us some ribeyes. And I went to pick out some ribeyes, and would you believe even, not the Black Angus, but the knockoff Wally World brand, ribeyes for two ribeyes is close to $30. Holy cow! Last time I bought a ribeye, me and my wife buy a lot of the thick sirloins because we just like them because they're less fat. Last time I bought a ribeye, I could get two of them if I get some smaller ribeyes. I could get two of them at Walmart for about 15 bucks, 16 bucks. Almost $30? What is going on? What we have instead are pork steaks, which are absolutely amazing. Just way less healthy. <laughs> you cook them like I cook them, they taste a whole lot like a ribeye, actually. We are cooking with pecan logs today. Just put them on there, so we'll give them a little bit to burn off all the dirty stuff and have a good clean smoke. Ooh, does that feel good? Is that nice and toasty? I'm next to the fire. Yeah, you're next to the fire. Just don't touch it. I'll be really hot. Don't touch the metal. Mmm, how's that feel? That can feel toasty. Nice and toasty. <laughs> it almost did, didn't it? Oh, look, it's catching pretty good. We might be cooking here soon. Yeah. It's down there. You hungry? Uh-huh. And you're hungry Oh, I love potatoes. <laughs> I'm hungry for taters. What are we eating? We eating steak and taters? Uh-huh. Okay. We steak and taters? Yes. You want to get some, uh, some a paper towel for your boogers? Mmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. There it goes. First one's on. Let's go ahead and do two at a time. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yummy. I like that one. You gonna pick it? <laughs> Whoa! Dude! Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Did you get it? Where'd it go? I don't know. Go? You picked that one with some force. You wanna try to get another one? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yep, that was it. Where'd it fall to? Right there. Hmm. Man, be careful. Yeah, they've only been on there for about two minutes, and that's about all it takes. About a minute on each side on this type of heat will get you the look that you want and then cook it the rest of the way on the smoking side. At least that's how I do it. What I like to do, it's kind of a secret, is I take my marinade, whenever all the meat is out of it, dump it into cast iron pot like this and this marinade's got coke and some smoke seasonings and all sorts of other goodies in there but being it's got that coke in it that sugar will start to thicken up as all the moisture comes out if you take this and stick it on the grill so basically just cook it down like you would a gravy and you talk about amazing to pour all over your steak whenever you're done essentially how you make kind of like a liquid smoke or a barbecue sauce or something <laughs> what you doing you like that smoke um that don't put that in your mouth that is a rubber washer for the hose that's to keep the hose from leaking. Huh. Put that back. I had it there for a reason. Don't lose it. There you go. Leave it right there. I'll tell you when you can get that marinade really, really good. Any amount of time on the flame and then sticking it into the smoking side is good. But if you can actually stick that stuff in on the smoking side, oh, you've got a long smoke going on, like a brisket or something. Woo! That turns out good. I usually tend to this for a little bit. Once it starts to thicken up, I'll take it off this flame side and stick it in on the smoke side. But if you're smoking something longer, you can just keep it on that smoke side the whole time. I try whenever I grill to not just stick something over some coals, get it cooked and then take it off. I try to always in a short period of time be able to sear something how I want it to look and get it mostly cooked over the flame and then bring it over to the smoke side for about 20 or 30 minutes. And uh doesn't sound like a long time when you're cooking steaks or burgers or something. 20 or 30 minutes slow cooking on the smoke side of this offset grill makes a huge, huge difference in smoke flavor. Adds a lot. Another good thing about doing this is that you know that your marinade is cooked 
and all the bacteria is gone. Because if you just kind of keep your marinade sitting out, if you don't make a separate marinade, if you keep your marinade just sitting out, you know, next to the grill and marinating your steaks all the way up till you actually take them off the grill. And who knows if that marinade bacteria is actually all gone from that raw meat sitting in it. This stuff, how it sits already is ready to eat. <laughs> Even a short period of time on the grill. And why would you want to waste like a big cup of marinade whenever you can use the marinade that your steaks have been soaking in? And putting it on the grill like this and letting it soak up a smoke flavor kind of rejuvenates some of the flavor that you actually lost that soaked into the steak. All right, we're ready to put this on the smoke side. You see this? This was our super runny liquid. You got it turning into a thickened sauce once you stir all this stuff in. And it'll thicken even more on the smoke side. Do not throw away that marinade. Stick it in a cast iron pot or skillet and just cook it down. And you can save this in the fridge. Put your favorite seasonings in here. And, and cook it down on the grill. Look at that, look how thick that is. Be careful though, not to add too much because this is really concentrated now. You just wanna lightly dust it. We're going buddy, we're gonna go check on her. See this looks like I just put a rub on it cause it's so thick now. That's a motorcycle, you're okay. You definitely don't want to cake it on like barbecue sauce because this was intended to be a marinade, so it was overly salty. And now that it's cooked down, it's definitely very salty. You just want to lightly dust it and then take the rest and put it in a little container and keep it in the fridge. I heard Pippa barking, so he wants to go check on her. But as soon as we make sure Pippa's okay, we're going to put the cow up and then give a little man a bath so that we can eat. back tires he can take this thing anywhere now just about whereas before I mean he never got to take it down to the cows look at you you drove all the way down here good job your hood came up didn't it good lordy I see you you went over that bridge and then your hood popped up and then you were riding with your hood up huh you ready to go put them cows up? <laughs> Come on, girls! Time for a snack! Hey! Right here. I'm gonna try something a little different today and see if we can get Autumn in this pen by herself, shut her up, and then feed the other girls. Because Missy has been going in here with her and just bullying her or trying to. Autumn always ends up getting her way ultimately. But I don't like them being in this barn fighting, you know. They're huge and they're going to end up tearing something up. Mm. 
Well, that worked. Hey right. girl, you hungry? Let's get you some food. One more time. No competition. Chill out. All right, let's go. Cow is such a lover, girl. She was too busy paying attention to Asher, or Asher, and she's gonna end up missing out on her food. <laughs> hey, Maple, you gonna go in easy for me tonight? Yeah, you're on camera. I don't know if that matters to you. Hey, good girl, good girl. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here she comes, Asher. Let's go. <laughs> Look at her. She went in there. She's going. Look. Hey. Right. Get on in there. Get on in. All right, go ahead and shut it. Good job. You're helping daddy. You did so good. Good job, baby. All right. Put that one like that. Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? Okay, I'm ready too. Let's go. I gotta feed her and give her her water. What are you doing? Are you giving Missy kisses? <laughs> oh my goodness. Say here, Missy, I want a kissy. Tell her. Say here, Missy, I want a kissy. I want a kissy. I want to go eat. Me too. How you doing, Olive? Olive is the outcast around here. I have no idea why. Probably because she is so sweet. Poor thing. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yeah. Did we do a bunch of fun stuff? Uh -huh. Oh, man. Can I have a high five? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was entertaining for you. If it was, hit that subscribe button, the like button, comment, share, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 Hey, you want to tell them God bless? God bless. God bless y'all.